Hello and welcome to Biotechnica's another session. Today we have we are having at iBiome 32nd meeting and right now we have Dr. Ram M. V. Ramanujam. He is a CEO and founder of Propinquity Genomics. And hello, sir. Namaskar. How are you? I'm doing fine. Great. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for joining for this quick uh, chat. So, sir, if you could throw some light on the work which you are doing and how yeah. it's going forward. Uh, so, I have uh, some like-minded people who are uh, uh, very good at uh, this. Uh, uh, DNA stock architecture and uh, they have been working on this for quite a long time and since 2011 I have been working on this area of fractal genomics and a fractal cancer and uh, what it means is the DNA genome is a fractal structure and if you see Indian temples uh, they are all the fractal structures we have known this for a very long time and I have given many uh, interviews on this basis and what I'm interested in looking at the fractal defects in global genome architecture and uh, neutralizing them for uh, precision medicine. So what I call that as a statistical diagnosis and a probabilistic prognosis and as well as precision medicine. So this is one of the area I specialize in and I'm also helping some companies to uh, get their IND and uh, as well as phase one clinical trial done in the small molecule and as well as in the large molecule sector. Right. So, sir, wh how long have you been working in this sector and what are the challenges you faced till date? I am a biologist uh, since the age of 15. So, I can say very well 40 years I spent on biology. Right. So, in genomics since 97, when I came back from Germany, I started working on the first generation bioinformatics. And then I started working on the second generation genomics. And that is the next generation sequencing. And that is when I came across with uh, some very um, high, uh, highly renowned people from US and uh, Paris and uh, also from Russia and as well as uh, uh, some people from India. I formed a uh, Fractal Alliance Group, International Fractal Alliance Group. And I have been uh, uh, evangelist uh, on this idea. Right. So finding money for this kind of... Uh, uh, ideas are a little bit difficult uh, at the moment in India, but we are hoping at some point we will be able to convince some investors right. to invest into it. So that is a short story of it. All right. So, sir, uh, the other side, when we were having a chat earlier, you said that you are finding difficult to find bioinformatics and genomics experts and skilled manpower in India. So what's your take on that? This is not only my problem, but it is a universal problem. What happened in uh, genome analytics, if you see, you have to use uh, high power computing. And uh, when we have genomics as informatics, we need a lot of information technology people. Our industry in the information technology is not fine tuned uh, to analyze such data. So these are all domain intensive. So one needs to be both hybrid as well as when you use informatics approaches, as well as you are a domain expert. And as much as you use a software, so it gives you a better idea about uh, this hybrid approach that you use, human right. intervention along with software. And that is where I think we are lacking in uh, uh, such uh, qualified people in India. Right. But although we don't have um, uh, severe uh, uh, shortage, but we definitely have some shortage. Yeah. So students who are planning for bioinformatics, definitely you should go for this field. This is a moving field. So, sir, any message, last message for our students and young uh, job seekers and bioprofessionals you would like to give? I think I will uh, stick with the same uh, sentence that I told another interview, that early promise. The students should enter the search area when they are 15, 16 and 18. So, as uh, one person said here, he, he had become, and by yourself, you became an entrepreneur at 18 and a half. It is very early age, at about 18 years, getting into a lab and getting that experience. Right. And I see that happening in the West and it right. has to happen in India. Right. With that, I thank you very much. Thank for you. Your thank work. you so much, sir. It was a pleasure interacting with you. Thanks, and I wish you all the best in your Thanks, research. Sir. Thank you. That was Dr. Ram and he is a co-founder and CEO of Propinquity Genomics. Thank you so much for joining us for this 32nd iBiome session. I'll see you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.